Hey guys, Ryan from the Gold Magikarp here, and today I'm going to be showing a battle I have with my friend Aiden, and this is going to be the friend battle series, not the Wi-Fi battle. Wi-Fi battles for random battles on the internet, and friend battle is is uh just like stuff like this, me versus Aiden and me versus like Alex and stuff. So here we have a six on six battle. He named his character Red. I don't know why. I'm sorry for the camera. I didn't have uh, the the little tripod thing I used to record, uh, so the camera might be a little centered. So he starts off with the shrug deer. Uh, and I send out my Charizard, and I realize this isn't the best matchup for me. Um, so right away, I'm gonna switch out. I believe whenever it shows. If if we don't do anything for a while, it's because we are talking on Skype. Uh, so yeah. So switch out to my Lapras, which knows Thunderbolt. So we could try to take it down. Water Pulse does not affect us because of our Water Absorb. Uh, so that's a move wasted for him. He's just wasting PP there. So what I'm planning to do with my Lapras here is use Thunderbolt. But he switches out. Brings in his Shedinja. Still use Thunderbolt. But Wonder Guard makes it not affect it. So... Wonder Guard is a very pesky thing. Ice Beam, Wonder Guarded, still doesn't affect it. Leech Life hits us. Not very much damage done there. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna try to use Surf now, because it's my only move left. Uh, so Surf, oh, no, Wonder Guard doesn't affect. So Wonder Guard, what happens is only things that are super effective on it will hit. Uh, and it's a problem. So I'm, I'm just gonna switch out here because my Lapras can't really do anything with that Wonder Guard ability. So I switch out, bring in my Charizard again. I'm gonna try to uh, burn it up with fire, which can hit through the Wonder Guard. Uh, so our accuracy falls. I forget. It's like Sand Attack or something. Should you use? I didn't pay attention. Um, he switches out, knowing that uh, he can, we could hit him. Frogadier comes back out. So I'm going to Mega Evolve to Mega Charizard X. Uh, which is, I like it better than Mega Charizard Y. And we hit it with the Flamethrower, which uh, actually does a ton of damage. Uh, despite uh, not being uh, not very effective on it. So hit it with another flamethrower. That's gonna take his froggy deer out. So one down, five to go. Right now. One of the things I like about Mega Charizard uh, X is that it's Dragon type, so it can hold up with the uh, like uh, I forget if it loses. Flying or fire type, I forget which type it uses. But we go for the flare blitz on this sand slash, sand slash there. Puts it in the red right off the bat. But we're damaged by recoil. So a little bit of a buffer there. He goes for the dig. Uh, and so right now, oh yeah, so we're gonna switch out to my flygon, uh, which has the ability to levitate. So dig can't hit us. There we go. So I'm not sure if I switch out here or not. No, I just go for the hyper beam. And look at this animation. It just looks so powerful with that animation there. And sand slash goes down off a critical hit. Probably would have KO'd it anyway. But the crit always helps. Could have been more useful on a f uh, like a full HP Pokemon. Whatever. So out comes this little Rotom there. I have a Rotom. It's EV trained. Uh, I should have used this in the battle. So he goes for the Shadow Ball. Or Will-O-Wisp or something. And Flygon must recharge from the Hyper Beam. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I have a Rotom. It's EV trained. I got it in a Wonder Trade. And I EV trained it. Uh, and it's, it's pretty strong, actually. There you can see some stats popping on the screen. So switch out from Flygon, knowing that it could be super effective uh, with like Thunderbolt or something. 
And I bring out my Gengar. So now he goes for the Will O Wisp. He did before. And I'm uh I'm burned off this. Which does a bit of damage every turn. Just whittles down my HP, and that's a problem for the rest of the battle as you will see. I don't have the Mega Stone, but I already Mega Evolved, so I can't Mega Evolve Gengar. So he switches out to Ivysaur. Uh, so I go for the Sucker Punch, but it fails. Because they didn't move first, and I'm hurt by the burn. See how the burn whittles down every turn? That's uh, ultimately going to kill my Gengar. But we go for the Confuse, right? Uh, Confuse the Ivysaur. Which is helpful. And it hurts itself in its confusion there. And we're hurt by the burn. So we're both taking damage. So here I go for the shadow punch. Doesn't do much. But they're still confused. And they hurt themselves in their confusion. <laughs> and we hit we're hurt by the burn, so like I said, HP is getting Willed down there, but Ivysaur has always hidden itself. So it's a, it's an even trade-off. This is Aiden's first Link battle. It says, and then it's have I've hatched 332 eggs, I'm, and he has hatched zero. I'm trying to get a uh, shiny Squirtle. That's why uh, I'm working on that. So Ivysaur goes back. Rotom comes back out. Go for the suck punch. Fails again because no one went because they didn't go first. Now I'm in the yellow because of that burn that Rotom ultimately gave me in the beginning. So right now, uh, I'm going to switch out uh, and keep my Gengar alive. Bring out my Charizard again, which uh, I think we lose the flying type. Yeah, we lose flying type, so we're dragging fire now. But he switches out. Uh, see how... The fire move, the er, electric move, wasn't super effective on us last turn. I catch the name, but so Charizard, uh, yeah, he's dragon fire now, I believe, because he, because it wasn't super effective on us. So that's always helpful when you're facing uh, an opponent. So he sends out his vile plume, uh, and I'm skyping him like, "What are you doing, man? Uh, I'm super effective on vile plume." Vileplume is one of his favorite Pokemon. Uh, he's always used it. So right now, I'm thinking I got this in the bag. I just gotta hit it with a flamethrower, and down it goes. There we go, one hit KO. And Vileplume goes down. So Aiden's in a pickle right now. He's got only like two or three Pokemon left, so Rotom, Rotom comes out. Again, it's not super effective on us. We used Blast Burn, and that's a cool animation right there. One hit KOs Rotom, and Rotom goes down. So Aiden has really no way to win here. We're super effective on all the remaining Pokemon, except I, I, I forget. If, no, Frogadier's down. We must recharge. Shedinja goes for the Sand Attack. Lowers our accuracy. Not too bad, honestly. Uh, if we flare blitz, we use flare blitz, but he avoids it. Another sand attack. Trying to whittle down our accuracy so we miss uh, every time. Like I said, Wonder Guard is not in effect for fire types. So we hit it with a flamethrower, and it goes down. Uh, does he have another Pokemon? Maybe he does. Yeah, he does. So Ivysaur comes back out. Oh yeah, he switched out. I remember now. And like I said, super effective on all of his left Pokemon. Uh, so Charizard, we're just gonna go for like flamethrower here and knock out his Ivysaur. We're just skyping right now. That's why uh, the long wait. So here I'm telling him, okay, I'll make it easier for you. So I switch out of my Lapras. He has a type advantage on me. So he goes for the tackle because my Charizard was still in last turn. 
So on my lap rest, I'm thinking, okay, I have Ice Beam, and that's super effective on him. So we're gonna try to hit him with the Ice Beam if we go first, and we do. So we hit Ivysaur with the Ice Beam, it's gonna be super effective, and we take down his Ivysaur. So thanks, thanks you guys uh, for watching this battle video with me and Aiden. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to Golden Magikarp for more battles and content like this. Hope you enjoyed.